All right, folks, the deck is Galakron Shaman. The goal of the deck is to invoke Galakron until we can get him fully online and summon a couple of 8-8 rush minions. Aside from that, we've got an elemental package to help keep control of the board and remove stuff from our opponent's side, as well as generate additional value with things like Earthen Might and a whack a -Null Hammer. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! These two together seem pretty good. Oh my god. This, this, this. Hello. Oh, you will miss me. Chad always wants to tech cards for the one matchup you just lost to. They never learn, you know, I mean. That knows best, though. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a tough one as well because they have Ice Block and their uh, Ignite Mage, so I'm sure there'll be some more recommendations for Eater Secrets. Mage forgot to play their quest? No, they just played a good deck instead. Not a lot of card draw happening yet. I shouldn't have said that. That's probably a spring water. <laughs> yeah. One minion? It's honestly not a great thing. Uh, I think I just pop it too and leave the weapon. Why not pop it one? Because one is the same as two. When I have a weapon equipped. Also possible we just die. You looking for a candle? But quite unlikely at least. Where are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Guess not. Double kin line, sure. It's a good curve. Could be Reno as well. I think Reno would be worse than uh, Big, to be honest. Oh, what? Which shot was right? It is small priest. Just gonna grab my damage. Think I need to kill them before the Amara? Ah. Boar time? I think Boar. Okay. If Boar's running quests, that's a good thing for me. So that means they are at a minimum a turn slower, and it's gonna be harder to get the Amara online. Just gonna take the trade so that they can't. Uh, copy it. And I think we're in a good spot. Because again, I don't think you want to run the quest with Boar. Doesn't make sense. Yep. 
good news is we get to do this. Exclamation point. Priest. What's the strategy? Kill the boar, but he can revive or let them stay so they can copy. Well, I mean, the, the copy spells required two boars, or the revive spells typically copy required two boars dead, right? Like Awaken um, or Twilight's Call is the concern there. Whereas, like, re you can give it Reborn on turn two. You can do a lot more things early in the game than you can later in the game. So I think you kill the boars early if you can and just prevent them from getting um, reborn in particular. Don't hit this, please. Thank you. Galakron's online uh, after this. I don't know if we want the game to go that long. They've had both of their boars die now. Yeah. Uh, keep the Mindbreaker. Not necessarily for turn three, but uh, for the follow-up. I think that Slogger is going to be an important card in this matchup. None will survive. So if I can get this on the Slogger, that would be nice. Hey, look at that. Uh, I might hold the weapon on turn three. But I'm definitely playing it so that I can try and land it on the slogger. Because the slogger at four health is very fragile to one mana spell hero power. It's tempting, but not good enough. Uh, maybe I get Viper here and I'm sad. Sure. It's not concerning. I should have just swung. I need to end the game eventually, right? I'm, I'm trying to hold out for too much slogger value. As long as it just doesn't go out there and die to a hero power without getting to attack, it's, uh, I think, okay. The opponent has been going pretty slow on their uh, quest. Like, that's ticks one and two, isn't it? That's very bad for them. I'm going to start swinging, though. Just try and close this out before they can kill me. Now that it costs zero, I could also just mind breaker if I wanted. Doesn't seem like a good use of the coin. Go here. Weapon. I wouldn't mind if it landed there. That gives me two good targets. Play this. It's uh, a bad minion placement on my part. I think I will just uh, commit the Mindbreaker next turn if I have the opportunity. Prevent them from getting the Leaper Gnomes online. Seems like it could have been helpful in killing the Vapor. Oh, they already had the kill on it. Less damage after the quest is done. I'm gonna see. See if I can stick this. Elements guide me. Nice. Good hit. Missed a hero power because I'm dumb. But they have to use resources killing this, which means they're not killing this. And um, they have. Worst case scenario, they have fewer resources after the Tavish is down. But I definitely wanted to hear a power there. I just did an oopsie. Let's 
skill command. It's not gonna solve the problem though. I still have four coming at you. Elaborate concede. Easy. Warrior means we want Flurgle Toxfin. Yeah, this card. I don't think the shield is fast enough. I would rather find a one drop. That's pretty good. I mean, it's just good enough, right? It denies coin. Uh... Oh, it's not really a draw. Um, but it does draw d deny coin as Oss first, may maybe. Okay. Just gonna draw the weapon now. I don't feel like I need to be in a hurry to uh, get the ice fishing down. I could do that on turn four at the latest. Lead the charge. And until then, I'll just start working my way through these pirates. This should be a pretty good matchup. For Coinion on one, their uh, follow up was kind of bad. That can't feel good to give away the upgrade right before the uh, hand card comes down. I think I'd rather have this than a totem, even though it's less mana efficient. It's a 2-3. Like, the um, the battle cry doesn't go away, so... This turn is just Elementalist, and we save the Florgal Toxfin for the Rokara turn, I suppose. Do you think the questline warrior buff was necessary? Uh, we've talked about this. Add infinitum. It wasn't meant for standard or for wild. It was just standard buff. So no, it wasn't necessary in wild, but that's not where it was targeted. Ow! Slogger's good. You can actually get that down on the. Uh, Flurgill Toxfin turn, right? I want to clean up this a little bit more than I want to get six immediate healing. Still do not know why cards are diff not different from Wild and Standard, two different versions for both formats. Would break people's brain. I've already experienced that quite a lot with the Leroy change. Leroy is only different in classic mode and people still were very confused why he wasn't uh, a four mana card. Probably a Cody Nightmare. Not just that, because obviously they can do it because classic exists. It's just not casual or new player friendly thing to have the same. And it also doesn't make sense. Like imagine a physical card game where you have two different versions of, of cards with the same name, like it takes away some of the it makes wild far less uh, accessible as well to people moving over from standard. There's just a great many reasons. Now let our hands guide me. It's the same reason we have the rush replacement bird for the board. Yeah, and the same thing for the murloc. Like, if you're gonna make cards do different things, just give them different names. Why are they not playing the uh, the win condition in their deck? Okay, I guess if they're just going to do that. Oh, hey. I get Garlic Rod next turn. If I want him.
Do I ever go for the two out of three to save health here? Nah, that seems dumb. I would have lost it. I think MTG has a sort of thing like that. Well, it's I mean, it's different in paper because it's like not... It's not a possible thing you can do with a paper card game because you'd have to reprint stuff, but... Even in spite of that, it doesn't make sense to me in a digital card game because people exist as humans. Alright, I think I just want to do this and uh, counter-pressure them. If I'm going with the counter pressure game plan, I'm just going to clear this. Not because I'm concerned about damage, but I want to protect the 8 1. And then we just uh, Flurgle Tox in their follow up. Oof. That actually mattered a little bit, didn't it? Um, we're still showing lethal. Would have been better to get this in hand. Um, but yeah, the opponent's just dead here. Hey, ulti. Easy. It's a good hand into Odd Demon Hunter. Freeze their face, set a Custodian for two. I'm into it. What? Luckmost card was kept? What does that mean? Roots? Sigil? Okay, cool. That makes this a worse keep, but... You say Mindbreaker is a good tech card to include right now, or too situational? Um, it depends on how many questline hunters you're queuing into. It doesn't do that much against other decks. So they get a quest tick off of the tradable. I think I want to go vapor weapon. Well, that's going to come down, isn't it? Because I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind if I spread my threats a little bit. I'll give up some damage for the opportunity to buff this a little more. Unfortunate. Roots are hardy to get down, but not impossible. Oh, okay. I wanted that. It's just this. Card is bonkers for five minutes. Yeah, that's why it was a terror when it uh, first came out. Okay, they're gonna draw three, four. They need another draw spell to finish this off, or another tradable minion at least. There it is. Wait, did they go in for the combo? That could be a problem if they have uh, Guild Trader. I doubt they want to glide me. Unless they know that I have the garlic run in hand. Okay, here come the, uh... The brutes! Brute me! Oh god, no, don't brute me. Uh, I can deal with the brutes with the garlic run, so... 
Wait, did they miss one? Or they hit one of the uh one of the spell demons? They were one mana. Oh. oh, that nerf did things. I'm gonna hold this back and just deal with that next turn with the uh, Galakrond. A blunder. Galakrond invokes doesn't count for Wailing Vapor. It says uh, play. Minion. It's not easy to deal with 8-8s. Eight they are going to have some healing though, but if they use like if they use those spells on our minions and they are in fact like a combo deck, it's gonna be hard to uh combo me in time, I think. Oh, that's right. They did hit. Oh, that was last turn they hit one of those. So they still have another Brute in hand. This isn't active, so I have to wait until next turn for it. It's gonna kill that. I don't want to set the weapon because they run a vi Did they already play the Viper? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. There should only be one Viper in deck. Am I dead? in the box. Uh, this is only good if we knew it was Shadow Priest, but I have not been seeing Shadow Priest, so I'm just going to look for a curve and uh, go from there. Never really happy to see uh, Flurgle, but maybe I just won't draw the Ice fishing and draw the toxfin instead. Oh, should have kept the mind breaker. Uh, still have a good start though. And then you'd shutterwalk for this shaman deck. It looks fun. Do you think it's worth crafting? Uh, I would play it without the shutter first and see if you like it because um, I have played. Quite a few games, and I have not played Shutterwalk once, so. Ooh, ooh, that was bad. I should have killed this one. I, I played that a little too fast. Now if they raise dead, they can just get the patches into the Brigand again. Okay, never punished, I guess. We've all agreed that um, needle or the weapon is bad, right? I shouldn't take any risks. The opponent's the aggressor here. Uh, I can just weapon that down. Hey, there's the breaker. I still want to weapon it just to uh, get this out of range. 
Eventually I'll draw some card draw or healing. Doesn't feel good to see a boatload of cards in my opponent's hand. Okay, that's good to see because that's slow. And that's not a mind blast, so. I'm okay with this turn. Make the curve play. The good news is the op opponent conceded. <laughs> You're going to assume that this time it's odd, Demon Hunter. It's not, but decent curve at least. Earlier really, today I had a big. Shaman drop a 10-10 on turn one with Ancestor's Call. Fortunately, it wasn't a good minion, at least, so. I mean, you don't get the win. At least it's over quickly, though. Your pain is short-lived. No! I was gonna whack it. Bummer. Uh oh, your message did come through. The alert didn't go off, but Ian, thank you for the five dollar tip in your off coin. It's Thursday. I baked some blueberry muffins. I would share some with you, but I'm sure they would not make it to you in a delicious fashion. Delicious fashion, so I'll just eat them in your honor. I hope you're enjoy a return to hot showers. Well Thank you. I hope you enjoy the uh the muffins at least. Uh, that's probably better later. Let's just do this. Give it that support, and sorry the alerts aren't working. Pleasure doing business. Oh, the alert did go through. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> sorry about that. on the brutes again this makes uh, this playable so I'm gonna attack first because the the buff here would be nice it was in fact nice and now if they do have a brute I can turn it into a frog Oh, that was the middle of their hand. I was like, thanks. <laughs> hmm. I feel like this will present them with a problem. Keeps the elementals rolling for the lurker in case they do get uh, a brute. Which I'm assuming this turn will be playable because I've got a lot of card draw. Double brute would be a big bummer. Oof. Oh my god, that nerf. Oh 
I would have been able to uh, at least kill the second brute, but. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. It looks like my internet is starting to uh, struggle a bit anyway. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, John Rusi, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Corbeck, Noggleshire, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix. 